Alright guys, so to make my own water, I use a BRS 5 stage plus reverse osmosis deionis di deionization deionization system. <laughs> I used to go and get water from the local reef store, however, no longer because if I ever need water, I always have it ready and available when I want it or need it. Plus, um, you never know where the water has been. There could be uh, ick in the water. I mean, it could happen, probably not, but it could happen. You never know. Just one drop of water um, with contaminated with ick or marine velvet could screw your whole tank. So anyway, it's, it's nice to know that everything's contained in my house and created here. The water comes out of here. This comes, this little sprocket comes with the setup. Uh, you can also punch a hole in the copper plumbing below, but I didn't want to do that, so I just screwed this onto my faucet. Out of the RODI, that's where the wastewater goes. I just have the hose going down the drain. Right, that stays in there. I screwed that into the side of the Rubbermaid container. This is a 15 gallon Rubbermaid container and I have an auto top off right here. So as the water level gets to this point, it'll raise this and it'll pinch off the water so it won't come out. Very handy if you're out of the house cutting the grass or if you're, you go to bed, which I did the other night and I forgot the water was running in here. Um, this will stop it. It's about $18, best investment ever, because you don't want this to overflow. You can imagine uh, how much water you're going to get over the course of the night. So that's a great investment. Calcwasser is an aquarium supplement and it adds calcium and maintains your pH level. Okay, you don't want to add this um, to your tank, you want to put it in the water, um, let it sit for a little while, let it dissolve. It dissolves pretty quick because it's like powder, it looks, it looks like flour. Um, a lot of people drip this in their tank, uh, they recommend that. However, all I do is take a teaspoon and I'll dump it into this water and let it churn with the salt water before I do a tank water change. Nothing's ever happened to the tank. One teaspoon and ten gallons of water, it's fine. And this helps your corals and anything and everything that requires calcium. Because my calcium is usually a little low, so this brings it up. And I do this once a week. I also put this in my um, water to top off my sump. I got a pump that normally goes in your sump to pump the good water back in your... Whoa, that was awesome, wasn't it? I wasn't thinking. How about we unplug it first? I went out and I got a Rio Plus. This is a 1700. All right. So I'm going to keep this in the Rubbermaid. This has been sitting in here for five hours. Um, no hose connected. I'm going to do that now. And this just has been churning the water as you saw. So this water is about ready, so we're going to do a tank water change. What I'm going to do is put this pump in the fish tank, actually in the display tank gently, and I'm going to pump out all the water into these five gallon jugs, just two of them. Then I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to pump this fresh, clean salt water into the display tank. That's how I'm going to do a water change. So it's going to suck the water out of here and do it into there. I used to use this small little pump to do it. This should go much faster because it's a much stronger pump. Make sure the hose is in your five gallon jug before you do this because if not, it's going to go all over the floor. Plug it in. Here we go. Wow, that's fast. It's coming out of the display tank. I'm going to do two of these, dump it in the neighbor's yard because he's a jackass. Don't forget to put the hose in or else. I've never used a regular pump. Normally a pump of this size is used to pump the water from your sump into your tank. They're really powerful. I'm using it for water change. This is amazing. It's like th easily three times, maybe four times faster than a small pump that I had. 
Okay, now all I'm gonna do is put this guy in the clean water, put this in the tank, now the water's gonna get sucked out and it's gonna get put into the tank. Here we go, we'll do that. 